Welcome back, Toucan Flock, to another episode of Toucan Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And in this ultimate guide, we are going to, to cover all of the hidden secrets and collectibles here in the Wasteland. And I've got here, i got Dragon. We're going to go over how to collect Dragon in just a moment. Dragon is found here in the Wasteland. But first, let's find hidden collectible number one, or world collectible number one. It's in this brick building right here next to the garage. Really close by, but kind of tucked away. You didn't know it was there. You probably would never find it. I know I wouldn't have. A viewer sent in that secret for me. Thank you. All right, for hidden collectible, world collectible number two, we are going to come around over here to this little ledge, and we got to climb up these rocks. And it can be a little awkward, but you can get there eventually. Sometimes I get a little hung up on these rocks right here, like that. But I haven't found any other way to get up this path. Once you get up to the top, there is hidden collectible number two behind that tree. There it is. For hidden collectible number three, you do need a boost, and I found a shortcut to collect boosts. You put both controllers in opposite directions, and that counts as a drift. That's how you collect boost meter, is by drifting. So that's just a quick little shortcut to cheese your way into getting more boost. So at the top of that dune right there, sand dune, just get a good boost going. And that's hidden collectible number three. For hidden collectible number four, this is up by El Toro Loco's Arena. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll go there later when we collect El Toro Loco's World Collectible. And this is Hidden Collectible number 5. It's at the top of this mesa. Keep your eye on the map to see where I'm at. You do need a boost to get collect that. For Collectible number 6, it's a little awkward getting up to this point. But once you get here, you just kind of follow the path. And it'll kind of go underneath these little sewer pipes. Feel like Mario going through the sewers. Once you go through all of the sewers, there is hidden collectible number six. For collectible number seven, we're going to go through this ravine here along the bottom of the map. Once you get to this point, you want to kind of flip around. And you gotta come up this hill right here. You do have to get a little bit of a running start, but I found that you don't really need a boost. You just have to kind of angle it right and get a good running start. In fact, sometimes when I boost it up that hill, I go flying in wrong directions and it, it turns out not good. So that's collectible number seven for collectible number eight. You wanna come back around to this area and boost right off of that ramp. It kind of sticks out a little bit more than the rest of them do. For number nine, it's right next to the airplane, right close to where we were just at. Do a nice little sky wheelie. Collect number nine. And for number ten, the last one, go back to the garage and then come up to this area. This is a retaining wall over here. And at the end of the retaining wall is collectible number ten. Once you get collectible number 10, you should unlock Max D. Do me a favor, if this guide has been helpful to you, smash that like button. Let other people know how great this guide is and how helpful it has been to you. It really does help the channel out a lot. Alright, so now that we've got Max D, let's go find his collectible. It's actually up the hill to the right there. I don't know what happened to me here. My tire got sucked into quicksand or something. I don't know. Once we get ourselves out of the quicksand, we got to get back up this hill again. And I don't know. There really is no way to good way to get up this hill. You just kind of have to muscle your way up it. Once you get up there, you kind of take the same path you took to get to collectible number six. Only this time, instead of going through the sewer pipes, we're going to go up the, this hill here. And 
until you get to this hangar. Once you get into this hangar, you'll see off to the right, it says maximum fuel. And you get charged up with maximum fuel. Once you're fully charged, you can exit the charging station and collect Max D's Hidden World Collectible. Oh, and then there's Earthshaker. <laughs> Let me tell you, this collectible has given me so much trouble. I don't know how many times I had to do this collectible before I finally collected it. Oof. I did finally find the secret to getting this collectible. But it was not without some trial and error. You have to kind of line yourself up. Get a good boost on that first one. Then, yeah, don't make that mistake. Because <laughs> you'll fall short. I did it so many times. Sometimes you, you boost and you go too far. And you go fly it off the end. And sometimes you don't get yourself lined up right. And you go flying off the edge. <laughs> After much, much trial and error, I finally figured you have to do a boost on that first jump. The second jump, you do not need to boost. You just get a good running start, and it will boost you forward enough to get on to the second ramp. Same thing with that third booster. You do not need to boost. You just drive forward, and it will boost you onto the final platform, and you can collect Earthshaker's Hidden Collectible. One more time. First one, boost. Second one, no boost. Third one, no boost. And you should be able to get there. I did it multiple times. No problems. It's just a pain. I don't ever want to do that again. <laughs> All right, moving on to Doomsday. Much easier collectible to catch. Doomsday's collectible is out here in the sand dunes. There's this hidden missile silo behind the sand dunes. You'll know you're in the right spot when you hear the alarm going off. Once it opens up for you, you just drop on in. And you get launched out. Front flips are just for fun. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> And there is Doomsday's World Collectible. Next up, El Toro Loco. Now, he has got an arena all to himself. It is up in the top left corner of the map. Once you get into the arena, you'll see this collectible. Once you gather it all... Oh, you can hear the cool music. But all of these gates open up. You ram into them all. Bash them open. And I have found that they are timed. If you don't get all of these in enough time, they will reset and you will not be able to collect the collectibles. So make sure you do it fast enough to where you can collect them all. But they give you a lot of time, so you should be able to do it okay. Once you've smashed all of those fences, El Toro Loco's Hidden World Collectible is yours! Do a celebratory donut! Woohoo! Oh, and one quick side note that I discovered. If you hit the right bumper, you can actually have steam coming out of El Toro Loco's nostrils. Just a fun little thing that they included. All right, Gas Monkey Garage. Gas Monkey Garage is a truck that you unlock by leveling up any of the demolition crew. What I mean by that is you do not have to level up a specific truck within the demolition crew. Just any of the trucks, as long as you're playing a demolition crew truck, when you get to 25,000 XP total with demolition trucks, Gas Monkey Garage will unlock. The same goes for all of the different categories of trucks. As you play with those trucks, you'll get enough XP to unlock. And it, you can see this little 
king symbol, that little crown, that means that that truck is the truck that you unlock by getting enough XP for that category. But here is Gas Monkey Garage's secret world collection. Well, it's really cool. If you haven't seen the other video that I did um, on Gas Monkey Garage, you'll know that uh, they have a, a little Easter egg over there with hot rods because Gas Monkey Garage in real life, they fix up old hot rods and they restore them. So that's kind of a fun little uh, Easter egg for Gas Monkey Garage. Stone Crusher is right next to the garage. There's the garage right there. And here is Stone Crusher's mine. It's right here to the right. And all you have to do is ram into it. And the rocks will go flying everywhere. This is a fun unlock. I like the interaction you get with it. You got all these little rocks that you can smash. You do not need a boost to get that collectible. You just drive right on off, and there it is. All right, so now we've collected all of the world collectibles except for Dragon. And the map, according to the map, it's out here in the sand dunes. Now, I have looked for this a few times, and each time I look for it, I miss the X, just like that. I drove past it, I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, man, I just saw it. Where is it? So if you're not careful, you, it'll pass you by, and you won't see it. But it is here on this sand dune. If you look at the map, it's right here in the middle, the middle sand dune. You just have to get close enough to the X, and it will appear. There it is. That is how you unlock Dragon. Wait for the sparkles. And there's Dragon. Now let's go find, oh yeah, that's right. Dragon also has a cool fire breathing. Same thing, right mouse, or I'm sorry, right bumper. Just like El Toro Loco. Instead of steam coming out of his nostrils, he breathes fire. I don't know if there's any other trucks. If there are any other trucks that have a special ability like that, let me know in the comments. All right, Dragon's secret world collectible is out in front of the bomber airplane. And it looks like there are three trees or three bushes or something out there. Here is the bomber airplane over on the far right of the map. And I did boost up onto this freeway. And I searched this freeway backwards and forwards and all over the place. There's nothing up here on this freeway, so... You can safely bypass the freeway. There's nothing up there. But underneath the freeway, there is our three little trees. Actually, I think they're cactuses. Cacti. However you want to say it. There they are right there. I'm just drive in the middle of the three of them, and bam, there is Dragon's Secret World Collectible. <laughs> try and burn the cactus down. All right, let's move on to our challenge events. This one is mad to the max. This is our waypoint race. And just like all the waypoint, race, waypoint races, we need to get from one end of the map to the other. We can do that any way we'd like. Perfect start. Right out the gate, you'll see half the trucks are gonna go with me on the left and the other half are gonna take the right route. I don't know which one's faster myself, but I do know that there is a booster over here to the right. I'm going to take it. Boom. Let's go. Hello, Gas Monkey Garage. How did you get in front of me? Get out of the way. <laughs> Whoa. Move it! Oh no! Ah! They gotta go up the plane! Woohoo! Oh no! <laughs> Jeez! Oh gosh! I don't know if that was the best idea. <laughs> There's the waypoint. 
We just gotta get it and then head on back to where we started in El Toro Loco's arena. Now we've got everybody in front of me though. Come on, move it guys. Move it dragon. Go, go, go. <laughs> Sorry, gas monkey. Higher education. It's still summer. Fourth place, come on, we can do this, we can do this. Move. Oh no. Oh, everybody took a tumble. Yes! Oh, first place. Nice. That was a close, close win. All right, now that we did win that race, though, we did unlock something. I'll show you what we unlocked after our next event which is a dusty demolition. That is our outdoor time destruction event. And just like all of the outdoor time destruction events, we do want to go as fast as we can, but it's also about accuracy. We need to make sure that we're lined up with our, with our items that we're smashing. We need to make sure that we hit them before our combo meter runs out of time. Very good so far. That booster can throw you off a little bit, but it is worth it. I think it's the only way you can really keep your combo meter going. I thought these airplanes were not destructible so the first time I ran through this, but they are destructible. We'll run them over. Oh, just barely got that. Kept the combo meter going. We are running on bonus time right now, so if the combo meter runs out, our run is over. Oh, no! right there at the very end well that that is the very end right there that's the last of them we missed that last little bit we still got first place though and what we unlocked you can see on, on the above the demolition crew above el toro loco we have 50 percent reduced destruction slowdown and 30 percent extra speed after smashing into things so that is gonna do it for this episode i hope you learned a lot i know i had a lot of fun making this episode be sure to click on the video that you see on the screen, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the flip side. Later!